In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about the iPad and the status icons. Some of the settings that you'll see in order to display the status icons that you see on the screen in front of you or on the iPad in front of you. I'm currently in landscape mode displaying it. I am holding it with the home button to my left and the front camera is on my right. So to get started, we need to take a look at a few of the status icons. I'm going to display a little picture here. Status icons by default um, on the top of your, your iPad screen will display airplane mode. You can see the symbol, little airplane. Uh, if you have a 3G, 4G, iPad mini, iPad 2, or iPad 3, or generation 4, you'll see an LTE, 4G, 3G, Edge, or GPRS symbol showing that you're connected to one of the cellular mobile networks, these right here, and you're using your cell phone network to connect to the internet. If you're not connected to the internet, you'll be connected to a Wi-Fi network, and you'll see the symbol here, the little Wi-Fi symbol, which you can see on my screen. I have the Wi-Fi symbol here as well. If you put the iPad in Do Not Disturb, which I will demonstrate, you'll see the little nighttime moon, crescent moon symbol. If you have a 3G, 4G cellular mobile iPad, you'll have the option to turn on the personal hotspot feature. Personal hotspot allows you to turn your iPad or iPhone into a wireless router and it will allow clients to connect to it through Wi-Fi and then your iPad will then route that traffic out to the internet for those devices that are connected. And you'll see the two circles connected like a link chain in the top left hand corner. If you're syncing your iPad to iTunes, you'll see the little sync status icon in the top left hand corner. I'll demonstrate that one as well. And any activity, meaning that I am using the Wi-Fi network, downloading something from uh, the cellular network, it will show the little activity window showing you, I'd the little activity uh, status icon showing you that you're actually downloading or processing something over the network to give you an indicator that something's actually happening. If you happen to be using a VPN to connect back to your work network, it'll show the little VPN symbol letting you know that you are now connected to the work network and your traffic is protected while it's traversing through the internet. Getting on, We'll take a look at some of the settings that we can use to where the status icons show up or, or not. One of the first ones I want to take a look at is Bluetooth. If we hit the settings icon, bottom left, we see that Bluetooth is currently turned off. Now watch the top right hand corner of my screen while I slide the Bluetooth on. To see next to the battery percentage, you see a gray Bluetooth symbol. And under devices, I see two Bluetooth devices show up. And one of them shows not paired and the other shows not connected. The difference between those two means that a not paired device is a device that I have not connected in the past to this iPad. A not connected device means that I have previously connected that device to the iPad, but I am not currently connected or using it. And watch my Bluetooth symbol in the top right hand corner of the screen, and you will see that I'm going to connect a Bluetooth keyboard, the Logitech Ultra Thin keyboard cover, to it, turning it on, and it should attempt to make a connection. There it shows connected. Do you see my Bluetooth symbol in the top right hand corner? Now it turns to a solid white, indicating that I am connected to the Bluetooth keyboard. I'm now going to turn the Bluetooth keyboard off, and you'll see that that Bluetooth icon on the top right will turn to a gray. And there it goes to a gray, and it indicates that I'm not connected. I can turn Bluetooth off. If you don't have any Bluetooth devices or have no intention of using Bluetooth, I recommend you just turn it off to save on battery life. As long as we're talking about battery life, you can see in the top right hand corner 
I'm using 92% of my battery available at the time and it shows the little percentage next to the battery symbol not just the battery symbol in order to change that I go to general and then I go to usage and in usage it shows the different apps that I have installed and my iCloud usage and storage availability and you can see that battery usage I have the battery percentage turned on. Watch what happens in the top right hand corner of the screen when I slide that to off. You see the percentage disappears giving me a little bit more status icon display and now I turn it on and not only does it show the battery it also shows the percentage. I like to see the percentage because sometimes that little tiny battery icon is hard to see whether I'm at 50% or 75% or unfortunately even lower at times. So again that was general usage and scrolling down you can see the battery percentage is turned on. You can slide that to on or off depending on your preference. And I'm going to hit the home button take me back to my home screen. On the home screen you can see another little status indicator and that's at the bottom. At the bottom you can see the little, it's a very little tiny dot with a um, that's open and you have a white dot and then you have two other dots. Depending upon how many apps you may have installed on your iPad you'll see more dots show up. The solid white dot indicates the home screen that I'm on currently. If I slide my iPad screen, swipe it to the right, or I should say if I swipe to the left, my screen on the right hand side will display. So as I slide it over, you can see that little icon now lights up white with the middle dot. If I slide my screen to the right, and to the right one more time I go to my search screen and this is where I can type a name of an app and it will show up there's Evernote so this search screen is a nice app to use to not only search your contacts but also some apps that you may have installed that you can't necessarily find because they're listed some screen that you just can't see the app where it's located. So by searching for it you can either scroll or swipe your finger all the way over to the search screen and type in the Evernote and if I type in Evernote it gives me some options here to be able to use the search. If I tap the Evernote it will actually open the Evernote program if I tap search web, it'll search the internet using my preferred search engine. If I tap search Wikipedia, it'll search Wikipedia for that Evernote word and display hopefully a definition. And all I have to do is slide back to the right and back to my home screen. I can get to that search screen by also tapping once on my home button and it takes me to home screen. If I tap my home button again it takes me back to my home screen. So that's one, two different ways we can get to the search screen. If I have under settings I have my general the lock rotation is my side switch by my volume button set to lock rotation. If I were to slide that it now is locking the orientation of my iPad. If I slide it to the right, it now shows that I've unlocked and then if I turn my iPad up and down in portrait mode, that the orientation of the screen will change to portrait mode. If I change it to mute and I flick my switch on, it shows that I'm not going to hear any sounds or notifications. If I switch it to on, it shows that my volume as we're talking about volume, if I hit the volume down, the volume goes down. If I hit the volume up, 
it shows the volume is going to go up. I'm going to change it back to lock screen rotation and I'm going to lock it from changing the screen orientation on me while I'm presenting this. The next thing I want to show you is your top right corner that I turned my lock screen rotation on. You see that showed up. I'll turn it off one more time. It showed up in the middle of the screen, but also in the top right hand corner you'll see the little lock indicator show up as well. Next to the lock indicator, you see a little rectangle with a triangle inside of it. That's telling me that I'm using screen mirroring. How do you get to screen mirroring? Well, if you double tap the home button, you get the multitask bar at the bottom. If I scroll that multitask bar, whoops, uh, not that one, tap it again, if I scroll that multitask bar to the right, I can see my volume and brightness options. I can change the brightness of my iPad here and the volume here. And here is where my AirPlay is displayed. And as you can see, mirroring is turned on. If I slide it over, I can turn that off. I'm going to leave it on now and I'm displaying it to the Apple TV, which is what you're looking at right here. The uh, syncing I wanted to show you. If you connect your iPad to a computer with the supplied USB cable and open up iTunes, there's an option to check Allow Wi Fi Sync through iTunes. And as you can see in the general setting, I have iTunes Wi-Fi Sync. And I have previously checked in my iTunes program that I was allowed to sync my iPad over Wi-Fi. If I tap that, it says automatically sync with iTunes on your computer when your iPad's plugged into power and connected to Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to kind of show you two things here at once. Right now my battery is at 89%. If you remember, it was previously at 92%. I am now going to plug it into power and it will start to charge. Now that my iPad is charging, you can see the little battery icon shows a lightning bolt in it, which indicates that it is charging. And I need it plugged in in order to sync over Wi-Fi. Sometimes some of the syncing that occurs is copying large movie files and lots of music. It can use up your battery pretty fast. So Apple recommends that you have it plugged in and charged before you attempt to do the Wi-Fi iTunes sync. So here I am going to tap on sync now. While I do that, watch in the top left, or sorry, the top left hand corner next to the Wi-Fi symbol. You will see the sync icon show up. And there it is, syncing. And it's going to be syncing my data and movies and apps. And here it shows I'm copying the Tarzan movie. While it's doing that, I can still work on other things on my iPad while it's syncing in the background. And that's all I have to show for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please do ask.